Hey, it's Matt the Momo Hunter from McGee Farms, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about bottle babies uh, with lambs and goats, and really this applies for most other animals as well. But uh, you've seen the bottle baby lamb that we got the other day. It's been two days. She's doing really good. Uh, but if you have, ever, have never dealt with them or think about getting into them, it's, bottle babies are kind of, a, kind of a nice way to go if you have the time for them. Uh, you can buy them usually quite a bit cheaper because your people that raise goats and sheep don't want to deal with the bottle babies. They don't want to do all the feeding. So you usually, like I said, you can buy them a whole lot cheaper. Problem is you really have to be on them or else, uh, you know, you can lose them if you're not careful. Uh, when you get them, if you've seen the videos of the one that we just got, You'll notice the umbilical cord still on, and it was about 8 to 10 inches long. One of the first things you want to do when you get them is get you a little bit of string, get you some iodine and a pair of scissors that you've sterilized, and you want to cut that to about an inch or two. Tie a string around it first, uh, cut it at about an inch or two, and then put a little iodine on it. Otherwise, uh, they can pick up bacteria through that. The other thing when you get one is the first uh, day or two, you want to get some colostrum in them. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, species specific, if possible. Our farm and home store didn't have any lamb, but uh, they had it was a multiple. It's good for goats, good for calves, good for sheep, good for llamas, good for just about anything. But you definitely want to get that in because that kind of jump starts their system. And, uh, I mean, if, if you can get any from the mom is great, but in this case we couldn't. In the past, I don't think we've ever been able to. So uh, we get that, we mix it up. I've got some mixed up here. Uh, it's got directions on the box. And uh, as far as uh, giving them the bottle, we just grab a 20 ounce soda bottle. You get these little nipples, you can get them online or at most of your farm and home type stores and you just cut a little hole in them screws right on and it works perfect uh, we'll usually get a little pitcher to make some extra and just warm it up whenever it's feeding time i don't have a pitcher right now so i grab me a large bottle of water and i'm just going to make up extra keep it in there and uh, that way i'm good to go when you know, in the middle of the night, uh, she's been good about not wanting to get up in the night, but you know, when I need it, I basically have the milk ready to go. But after about a day or two, then you go to your milk replacer and uh, it's the same thing. Uh, you wanna get species replacement if possible. If not, there is a uh, multi-species that you can get that'll be good for your animal, but the species specific, especially lambs, Everyone thinks lambs and goats are uh, similar, and they are in a lot of ways. But milk-wise, uh, lamb milk, I think, is a lot, what I read, is a lot richer and uh, or has more, more fat or, or something in it. So, yeah, species-specific if possible. The other thing, too, is when you go to feed them, and I'm not going to demonstrate with our little one because we're still trying to work her on it, but there's a certain way you want to get her taking the bottle or get them taking the bottle because uh, sheep has multiple stomachs and you want to make sure the milk is going in the correct stomach. Otherwise, they can end up with some health problems. And this one only being two days old, we're still trying to get her to do it right. Uh, otherwise, I'd, I'd demonstrate with a video on her. But anyway, that's uh, kind, of a, kind of a starter pack and a little bit about doing bottle babies. This is the second lamb that we've had. Uh, we're probably going to end up keeping her in the house for a couple of weeks before we move her outside just because it's the end of January and cold here and wife doesn't, uh, doesn't want her to go outside and be cold. So after she's been in a couple days, it's really, really going to be keeping her in for, for a little while until it warms up here. But that's fine. Our last one that we did was the same way. And the nice thing about, about doing it this way, as far as bottle feeding, is if you've got a goat, a calf, a lamb, 
llamas, any, any kind of animal like that, and you bottle feed them, they're like a puppy dog. They will follow you around. Anyone that's dealt with sheep knows that they tend to be really flighty, kind of standoffish. It's hard to get within about 10 feet of them. Uh, our last one that we bottle fed, I walk outside in the morning and she runs up to the gate and wants to be petted immediately. And she will follow you around. And that's, uh, I've had calves that way. We've had goats that way, llamas, alpacas, pretty much any, any animal will be that way. So kind of, kind of a plus, especially if you've got kids that are going to be around them or like us, ours are more of a, more of a petting zoo for, for the grandkids and the nieces and nephews than anything else. So we, we like them nice and friendly. Hopefully this helped you out. If you're, uh, thinking about getting into some goats and sheep. If you got any questions, my email is uh, up on the page uh, in the about section, or uh, feel free to leave us a comment. It's appreciated. Subscriptions, likes, all of that helps out the channel, and it's greatly appreciated. Again, it's Matt the Momo Hunter for McGee Farms. Have a great day.